Hey everyone, okay, so I just got back from the doctors um, from having my NT scan and my 12 week prenatal appointment. Um, blood pressure is good, I think it was like 98 over 50 something. Um, it's always been low, so um, anyhow, I still have not gained any weight. And um, let's see, he said that it was okay that I haven't gained any weight right yet, that um, I should probably start gaining around the second trimester, so we will see. Um, I don't want to gain too much weight, but I'm not trying to not gain weight either. I am definitely eating, um, and I'm surprised with all the sweets and um, carbs that I have been eating and junk food. I'm very surprised I haven't gained weight, but I haven't, so... Um, the NT scan went really, really well. Um, she's, like, the back of the neck, there was hardly anything to measure at all. So, that was really good. Um, the nasal bone, all of the nasal bones and the tip of the nose and all that was completely visible, which is another thing that they look for, um, during the NT scan. And also, the, the chin was off of the baby's neck and not too hyper extended as well so that is another thing that I look for so she said sometimes it takes her hour, uh, an hour to get all the right measurements um, because sometimes just the babies aren't very cooperative um, but she uh, put the um, probe on my stomach and was able to get the baby's measurements within five minutes or less so the baby was very cooperative um, Baby was moving around a lot, waving. We got to see the um, baby's feet and hands and little facial profiles. She also put it on um, 4D, so we got to see the baby moving in 4D, rubbing um, its eyes. Um, and I did ask her to take a peek between the legs, and um, she said she would, but she would also not make any um, guesses one way or the other. Um, now remember, when I had Noah and I was 12 weeks and 6 days, um, we knew that he was a boy right away. Without a doubt, there was no denying that he had a penis. <laughs> so um, we looked today and there was no nub whatsoever, no nub to be found. Um, and there were three lines, but um, she said at this early, she would not call it one way or the other. So she gave us a 51% chance of it being a girl. But I didn't see a nub, so I say it's a girl. Um, and then after we had talked to the doctor today, he um, was getting ready to leave, and he looked at Noah. He said, um, Noah didn't want to shake his hand or talk to him. He said, that's all right. When your baby sister's here, um, you'll talk to me then. And so I thought that was kind of funny that he said that. But anyhow. I go back in four weeks um, for another prenatal appointment. I'll also have my blood drawn for the AFP test. And um, then we'll schedule my 18-week ultrasound two weeks later. So in six weeks, I will have my 18-week scan. In around 24 weeks, I will go to my maternal fetal medicine doctor um, once the anatomy of the baby is like completely formed and they can see everything that they need to see, then they'll send me there. Um, there was one other thing. Oh yeah, and in my last, not my last video, but a few videos back, um, when I talked about going to um, have my last ultrasound and the baby was measuring um, th three days behind, so Today, when we went, I was fully expecting the baby to be four or five days behind. And um, I was just expecting the bad news. So, I was really nervous. That was the main thing I was nervous about, was going in and hearing that the baby was even further behind in growth. Because I have yet once to go and have an ultrasound and have a lag in growth, even if it's a few days, and then go back and it not be worse. So, we go today and... Instead of the baby measuring three days behind, now the baby is measuring two days ahead. So, that completely took a whole lot of stress off of me, and I feel um, so much more at ease and at peace. Um, so, yeah, that totally made me feel a whole lot better. 
but I figured I would show you some pictures here. Let's see. This is the profile. And this is a profile picture. This is the alien shot. <laughs> Where they kind of look straight on and look at the baby and it looks like a little alien. Um, I would show you these 4D and 3D shots, but they're kind of, they, they just look kind of funny, so it's kind of hard to make out what it is, really. And then there's this. The heart rate was 160 beats a minute. And um, I'll show you this one. This one's the um, 3D, but it's kind of weird to look at. Okay. Okay, and... Here are the baby's feet, and here is another um, 3D one. Um, you can see the baby's little hands are up by its face, like, like rubbing its eyes, sort of. These are a little harder for me to kind of look at <laughs> um, than the regular ones. But um, there is. I don't know if I just showed you that one or not, but I think that's the last one. Um, so anyhow, I also asked where my placenta was. And um, my placenta is um, posterior, so it's on the back side of my uterus, um, which doesn't block any fetal movement. So you definitely feel the fetal movement more so when your um, uh, placenta is not um, getting the brunt of all the kicks. Excuse me. And it's also good because um, it's less likely to attach to my uterine scar and cause another accreta. So, um, so long as it stays put, that's good. Um, now, at 18 weeks, you're definitely going to check my placenta again to try to make sure I'm not going to have another privia. Um, obviously, once you've had one privia, um, you're at higher risk to have a another privia. And I did have a privia with Hannah and I had a privia with Noah. So um, we'll be checking that out again um, around 18 weeks. So hopefully, you know, we won't have any problem with that. But um, my doctor said he'll be glad to get me to Labor Day. Um, obviously, I've never made it to even 36 weeks um, with my last three pregnancies. So if we get to Labor Day, he'll be happy. Um, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to try to uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> My mind's not here. Um, we're just going to try to reinvent the wheel. Whatever we did last pregnancy, we're going to try to do this pregnancy and if anything just feels off or different or wrong, I'm just going to go in and be checked out and just try to make sure we stay on top of things. So, that's it and I will update my weekly pregnancy vlog on Sunday-ish, just depending on how I feel and what I'm able to get done and not get done. So, anyhow, that's it, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.